two reasons why the Olu of Wari stripped Ayeri of Olu Bushere title. In Wari Kingdom on Tuesday, 5th of October, the Olu of Wari, Shola Emiko Ugame Atu Ashe III, wielded his royal axe. It landed on the neck of Emami Ayeri. The consequence was that the monarch stripped Ayeri of his Olu Bushere prime minister title. An extension of this judgment was that the Olu's palace invited the Olubushere family and instructed the members never to address Ayeri as Olubushere anymore, in order not to create a vacuum pa Hing Son Ojafotan Oporoku, the Oloriebi of the Olubushere family was empowered to superintend over all activities of members henceforth. But then the Olubushere had been on suspension and not a few in worry, and outside believe that it was a matter of time that the Lu of Wari will wield his royal simanta against the kingdom's prime minister. Ayeri's sins were two. First, he reportedly tore into shreds the nomination paper of a Miko presented to him by the kingmaker. This was considered a great affront to the kingmakers and a Miko himself who kept his anger to himself. Secondly, Ayeri, to prove that he was not mad when he tore the nomination paper, made a beeline for the court to challenge the Thursday 27 May 2021 press conference announcement of the date of the installation of Shola Emiko as the next Olu of Wari. That announcement was made by the Yashere of Wari Kingdom and acting chairman of Olu's advisory council. Chief Johnson, Amar Sheru Lege. The Asheri told journalists that the former proclamation of Shola Emiko as the successor of the throne was made at Ode Shekiri on 5th April 2021, the same day the passage of his predecessor Ogiyama Ekinwonli was announced. According to Yashere, Emiko's emergence came after a rigorous process which included a painstaking search within and among the descendants of the last three Olus, as required by tradition, custom, and exant laws. Ayeri, the Olubushere, would have none of that. He headed for Iwari High Court, seeking legal interpretation of the amended 1979 Olu of Wari Chieftaincy Edict, which, according to a punch report, says that the Olu must have the Benin and Wari blood flowing in him. Emiko's father is Yoruba. Olori Gladys Emiko, wife of Olu Atuashe II, Shola's father. Ayeri sought the court's order of an interlocutory injunction to restrain the defendants, either by themselves, agents, previous, and or whomever from crowning any person as the Olu of Ori kingdom, pending the hearing and determination of the suit. Yolo Boshere wanted an order restraining the defendants either by themselves, agents, previs, and or whomever from using anybody, particularly the third defendant, Yashere, or the Ugwangwe, or any other traditional chief of Wari Kingdom, to crown any person as the Olu of Wari Kingdom against the provision of the traditional rulers and chief's edict of 1979, pending the hearing and determination of this suit. He was also seeking the court to obtain the purported suspension of Olu Bushere as the chairman, Olu Advisory Council and Traditional Council of Chiefs by the Guinea One ruling house. You know, up to date, some persons are still asking questions that what exactly did Ayeri do? What exactly? We want to know what exactly he did. And uh, we've just gotten that, that these are uh, the two reasons he was stripped of the title you know, it started by his suspension. He was initially suspended as the Olubushere. And one would think that maybe during the suspension, he would look for ways for reconciliation. And maybe amend his ways and uh, work things together. He was even approached. Palace chiefs even came to him to show that um, they, they love him. It's not like they really hate him. Because I feel that if they don't love him, they will not go to him. They went to him. And told him that just apologize, apologize to um, his royal highness Atuashe, 
Ugiamia to Ashe the third. Apologize that you are sorry. You didn't mean everything, everything that happened. And let's move on as one family. They thought he was going to turn up, but he didn't turn up. And he's been making statements through his media aid, be saying a lot of things that no one can suspend him. And uh, so one of those, the, the reason all of this happened was initially the first, in the first instance, he kicked against the emergence of Shola Emiko, Prince Shola Emiko, as the Olu designate. We, you know, he said it will not happen over his dead body. But we saw that um, the coronation, a date was given 21st of August. When that day was approaching, he went to court. He now went to court seeking an order and injunction to deprive, to stop whoever, their previous, their agent, all the chiefs, everyone, the kingmakers, the people, whoever is going to crown uh, the new Olu of Wari, that that should not happen pending when um, the matter has been determined. But we know that um, that didn't happen. Um, Prince Shola Emiko was crowned the 21st Olu of Wari. And the people are happy with him, to be quite honest. People are happy with him. And even his uh, um, the decisions he's been taking of late, the revalidation process, even the suspension, and even right now, the most recent of stripping Ayeri totally of this Olu Boshere title. So it's nothing like being suspended. He stripped him and he's not even giving it to anybody to say, okay, maybe I'll pick it up later or if I reconcile all this and that. Stripped him of the title and he abolished the title. He kicked the title off um the shekiri tradition that there's nothing like that again and he said well that uh, a family exists the olubosheri family that what he can do is that they still recognize those people as olubosheri family but there's nobody that is going to be bearing that title no single person is going to bear that title as um the olubosheri which is also referred to as the prime minister of wari kingdom so these are the two major reasons Ayeri was stripped Obviously, he's kicking against um, the Olu of Wari. He's uh, revolting that. And you know, yesterday, after um, Shola Emiko, His Royal Highness, Ogema Tuashe III, after he made a proclamation that Olu Boshere title has been abolished, Ayerina replied, he replied today, we did a report and you can check it out. In his response, he stated that uh, he does not even... <laughs> That he does not recognize Shola as the Olu of Wari, as such that um, anything he says is of no consequence, does not mean anything to him. We see that this is really getting serious. He said all he's waiting for is waiting for the court case to happen so that um, Shola is going to step down. We'll see how all of this goes. But guys, leave us your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.